What's up everybody, it is Daydreams, thanks for coming back to the channel for another Clash Royale video. If you're new here, please hit that red subscribe button down below and let all your clan mates in Clash Royale know that we do daily videos here on the channel. We're starting to do daily streams and tournaments here on the channel, we have a lot of fun together. Just let them know that they can join the tournaments anytime they want. Just come to the channel and subscribe and say hi and introduce themselves. So, guys, we're playing something I never thought I would play. I used to make fun of people who played Rockets, but let me, let me explain my thoughts here. So, I found a YouTube channel called... Um, Pong. He was, um, number one on the leaderboards. Inferno, actually, yeah. Pong TV. And he's on YouTube. He's got a YouTube channel. He's a Korean guy. He doesn't speak English, but he has subtitles. This guy's such a good player, and he's running this deck. Wow, he changed it. He switched it, but he was running, um, a deck similar to the one I'm running right now. Sometimes he puts Mini Pekka in for the Mega Minion. Sometimes he puts Guards in for Skeleton Army. But he switched it after the balance update, but he always played the other cards. Well, Here's my thought process behind this, is that now that the Elixir Collectors cost 6 Elixir, you can hit, you can rock an Elixir Collector anywhere on the board and have an even Elixir trade, but if, the, if you hit a Rocket, and if you can even get lucky enough to hit a Troop as well, great Elixir trades. 3 Musketeers, no longer a problem, you can either hit them all, all 3, or you can hit the 2, then just deal with the other one with the Skeleton Army, or Ice, anything, Log, tons of 3 Musketeers um, stuff. The only thing you're going to have a little bit of trouble with is, like, big tanky stuff, but, um, you know, I'm surprised he doesn't have another be uh, another Zap, um, baiter in here. Like, you could even put Goblin Barrow in for the log, or, you know, Ice Spirit's such a useful tool, you always want to keep Ice Spirit, but, honestly, you could even put it in for the hog, but the hog's good to have in there, or Miner. You could even put the Miner in there and have it 3.0. It's just such a good deck. I'm, uh, 6-0 in a Classic Challenge, because I'm out of gems from the tournaments we were doing. So, I gotta get more gems tomorrow. Let's go ahead and play some live battles. See how we do. I, um, am getting, you know, good matches. I'm playing all people. I just beat a guy with 3,700 trophies. I'll show you after this. So, this is actually the worst starting hand I've had in a while. Normally, I have, I have Ice Wizard, Ice Spirit. Oh, not that bad at all. I don't want to wait too long. I wanted to wait for a troop, but I don't want to wait too long because... Now we got a good push coming in. I could log all that. You know what? I'm going to. Listen, guys. People dog the log out. That's funny that it rhymed. But it's almost impossible to find negative value with the log. Like, it's such a good tool. Okay, so normally this is like the starting hand I normally get. And what I'll do is I'll place like the ice wizard back here. And then what I do is I like to play the princess on the other side. And what she does is she'll shoot across the lane. Okay, so he's going to play that there. That's fine. I'm going to wait until he plays something like... Like, I will rock it. That was a bad um, ice spirit, actually, because I knew it was going to hit that. Took care of that, didn't we? Uh, we just let 500 damage happen on the left. That's not good. He almost tied it up. Mega Minion's so good. I'm not even gonna bother with those. I could even put a princess down, and she would've shot across, and then she would've went over there and shot the tower. Definitely not worried. This is a weird deck, though, and you can lose, like, in weird ways with weird decks. We don't have the rocket. We gotta get to the rocket. I kept the princess alive. He just zapped all that. I missed the Ice Wizard, so that's not good, but at least all that's dead. Okay, sorry I'm not talking, I'm just trying to figure out what to do. So I got good value there because I killed a couple different things. I don't know if this is good. That mortar might kill everything. Yeah, that wasn't good.
Look at it, just push all that stuff back. Now we're in rocket range, I bet. No, we're not quite... We're in rocket log range, I think. I'm trying to get to the log, guys. I think that'll hit the tower. Nice. Now we can get to the rocket. And we win. So we got so much... It's like a... It's almost, um... It's almost a chip cycle deck. But it's not really a chip cycle deck because you have the log rider. Um, normally you would have like lightning or poison or you'd have like a, or I meant a spell cycle deck But th the log chips away at that tower and you can use it like that. The log works really good. Let me, it's pretty organized so Defense Defense, but you can split skeleton army and send like um The hog down one lane and even like the, I don't know if you had um You know what you could do with this deck and make it really cool You could put the lumberjack there because he's really fast like the hog rider and you could split this and it distracts the Inferno Tower and then send the Hog down one lane, the Lumberjack down the other. Or Hog Miner. That would be a double offensive tool. But then it would kind of negate. If you don't like playing Rocket, you could take the Rocket out and put the Miner there. And then you could just split push and use these Skeletons. They, they work so good at distracting Inferno type stuff. So. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back into the challenge. Um, as you guys know, we're using this deck right here. I don't know why I'm explaining it to you because although it's been 30 minutes for me... It basically has been no time for you, so let's just get right into a battle. Alright, let's turn a little volume up so we can get into it. We're facing a Chinese guy, so... Um, not to sound a certain way, but he's probably going to be really good. Because <laughs> they normally are. Let's get that rocket ready in case. Eh, I could have rocketed that Mega Minion. Look at that. The hog's going to get off another swing now. The hog gets off so many more swings. Oh, he played those, um, minions really bad. Tower will finish that stuff up, and then we can go there, and we can go there. So that was a nice cycle for us. Oh, no. I should have, okay. Well, here's the thing, guys. I shouldn't have done that, because now he knows I have the log. If he didn't know I had the log, we would have been able to, uh... On the next push, we'll send in our Hog Rider without the ice, or we'll send in a Hog Rider, Ice Spirit, and Log. That's uh, a big part about the game is predicting your opponent's moves. So we know he's running one of these like, oh, he's running the Lava Hound, is he? I see what's going on here. He's running the old Lava Hound. That princess will shoot from across the map. He's going to log it, but um, here's what we're going to do. Alright, this isn't good. Because now we've got... Okay, the Lava Hound's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, now this is really bad. This is really bad. Okay, so we're going to lose that tower. Oh man, that was bad. Well, he's got the log for the princess. Um, that's alright. We just got to go. We're going to go hog the log. Problem is, is that I didn't, uh, I knew what he was gonna do. Mm, he switched it up. Smart player. Oh my god, I thought I had enough damage left. That's alright, I was going to lose that tower anyway. So, um, sometimes I destroy Lava Hound decks and sometimes I don't. The problem I think I had there is that I, um, the problem I had there is that I wasn't pushing the opposite lane whenever he dropped his Lava Hound. Like, whenever someone drops a Lava Hound, they're spending seven elixirs, so they've got three elixirs to defend. If I do a Hog, Log, or Hog, Ice Spear down the other lane, if they don't have those, um, 
we could have destroyed him there, but man, I just made I just made a couple of mistakes. No big deal. Let's get right into the next match. Um, that 30 minute layoff I had too didn't really help. He's gonna go hog rider, right? He's gonna get off one shot. Let's see what he's got. He might be running the same deck as us. He is. A lot of people, when they see someone at the top of the leaderboard, they'll run the same deck as they do. Okay, one more shot. Yeah. Good shot. Good shot. That's not good. So we have to play this deck better than him. We know he's got a rocket, so we don't want that tower to get under... What is it? I think it's only like... Because that last... I think it's like 5-something, but... Like in the low fives, because that last one, on that last battle, he did that better than, or I thought I had enough, but I had just, let's have an ice, ice wizard battle right there, because that tower is going to help me out, and then we're going to counter push, he should have the, Oh yeah, he wasted all that. He wasted all that. And we still got a shot in. I'm pretty um, pretty happy with that performance. Okay, this princesses are gonna... Oh, they didn't trade. Let's go ahead and try to... Okay, we should get two shots off. Maybe three. Eh, nah. Finish her off, right? Or the tower. Just to be safe. <laughs> I could have hit the tower too, so that wasn't a good shot. I did get a couple skeletons though. Now it's down to. He didn't drop his log. Nope, he didn't drop his log. Surprising. We're gonna drop our hog rider. Just look how far I placed that back, though. We hit the ice spirit. We're gonna go ahead and finish that off before I forget. He's gonna drop his log this time. Nope, princess, huh? Alright, so we won a mirror match. I think it was a mirror match. I didn't see anything different. I didn't see his, uh, I did not see his rocket. Maybe he didn't think he, maybe he's the type of person that only uses it if it's like really needed. So we're already like three battles in, but I want to keep going. I don't care if it's a long video. Yeah, he has a same deck as me. He found it at the top of the leaderboard. But I was actually playing it before he was at the top of the leaderboard. I found him at like, like 10th place.